Dr. Deepika Udagama, um, yesterday we saw the main opposition bringing in a proposal uh, for a 21st Amendment bill, uh, the main points of which were to abolish the executive presidential system and to reinstate the constitutional council and independent commissions to establish a new council of state and a new national security council. Um, how feasible is it for uh, this uh, the, the passage of this? If you can just uh, take us through that. Yes. Well, before I get to that, I would like to comment a little bit on the tweets. I must sure. say I'm very impressed. They're extremely sharp, incisive, and you know. So you see that there's that reservoir of yeah. uh, you know concern and and also thinking that is yeah. taking place yeah. right now. And so I always say that this is the silver lining in an otherwise extremely dark moment right. in the country's uh, political history um, because the citizen has come out and that is what is absolutely important because without that civic consciousness we can't uphold democracy. Right. So speaking of the 21st, the proposed 21st Amendment, actually there are now several proposals. Now yes. I saw the former President Kumarutunga yeah. also has uh, put forward some proposals. All of them are to the effect that the presidential system must go. And I completely agree. Because although we are talking about an economic crisis right now, the root cause of that is governance, a problem with governance. You know, mm. as uh, Dr. Uh, as Anila pointed out, it, it's, it's completely a failure of governance right. and governance. And it's also a structural problem because of the executive presidency, the concentration of powers in one office. And then the 20th Amendment just made, made it absolutely almost sort of indecent, if I may use it, you know, mm -hmm. that sort of power mm -hmm. does not, you know, belong in a democracy. Yeah. So in terms of feasibility, the point is now that the youth have, you know, showed the whole, you know, country the way the elders included in a very disciplined and in a way that is way beyond a mature, you know, maturity way beyond their year the age you know the years um, parliament now must be told you are now the center of power we have lost confidence in the executive uh, there is absolutely no social contract there uh, true we elected him but you know he's failed so we have no social contract with uh, the executive presidency and as institutionally also structurally we have seen over the years over the decades the the problems associated with the executive presidency we now ask parliament right. as the forum where you know people's representatives are mm. you know present yeah. to now do the needful so now counting of you know who has how many numbers of you know the seats and you know who has a majority etc i don't think we should focus on that we should challenge parliamentarians and say you were elected to uphold a constitution as professor gunasekar has said you were elected to uphold what is good for the people now we want you to deliver the goods we want you to somehow marshal two-thirds majority ideally unanimously and make sure that the executive presidency is abolished yes the 19th amendment in a much more reinforced manner should be enacted mm. the other councils will have to look into it look into those as to you know the powers functions and so on um, but at least those those two features are absolutely essential and to say that a parliamentary democracy will be restored and that um, some form of uh, yeah, so the interim government or uh, national government will be established for this purpose so that confidence is there you know right. in, in the people it's true that the the youth are saying 225 must go plus one mm. but we need to use the 225 you know because we can't have elections right. soon parliament cannot be dissolved mm. under the current uh, in 20th amendment till february next year so all those things are there the 